I'd like to have them miss the flight so we can prolong the conversation and let them hang That's out with their parents. And maybe go to Molina's or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> Will you take those gifts? He's like, no, I already came to this luncheon. <laughs> We're done. So how great is it? You know, I, your family is so revered in this community. How nice is it to be able to come back to spend time with your grandparents and, and tell us what it's like being around family. Well, we um, we love coming back to Texas, and our grandparents and our parents, obviously, um, all live here now, and so it's been really fun for us to come back and see our family and our high school friends. Um, but we also, obviously, well, I'm going to cry. <laughs> We're pretty emotional. <laughs> We're pretty emotional. <laughs> we love our grandparents and parents so much, so we're just happy that so many other people do, too. More and more. <laughs> 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 they're cute. They are. They are absolutely adorable. Um, I understand, and you did a story on this, that your grandparents wrote love letters to each other. And since this is Conversations of the Heart, I figured that would be a really sweet thing to talk about. Well, yes, and the story was on a year ago. I kind of can't believe it, and I was hoping they could replay it, but then I interviewed Taylor Swift for Valentine's Day, so <laughs> it seems so forgotten. <laughs> but it was a really, really sweet story, and I was, I was in California, so I wasn't live, and I woke up, and I had about 103 emails from the head of NBC News, from my, the executive producer of the show, from all the anchors, and they just said, a love like that isn't told enough, isn't talked about enough. And so that's so, you know, of course, for, for both of us, you know, we hope to emulate that. We hope to have marriages that have lasted as long. And people don't write love letters like they used to. And so we got to read not only this set of grandparents, but also my mom's parents. Um, my grandfather passed away, but my m grandmother, even though she has pretty bad dementia, my mom and I went to go visit her in Midland, and we didn't think that we weren't going to, you know, include them in the interview because she has pretty bad dementia. And we showed up, and that's what we usually do is go through pictures and letters because she'll remember old times. And we started going through the letters, and she was totally lucid. And so we called the local Midland the NBC guy who was shaking and nervous. And like, <laughs> the Today Show, you know, couldn't believe it. And, and it was really sweet because, you know, she read those letters, and every time she would read it, even though, you know, she had a little bit of dementia, she would say, my gosh, he was silly. <laughs> <laughs> like, he would say, you know, something cute about her being beautiful, gosh, he was silly. <laughs> and, you know, so they, my grandfather and my grandmother, but my, you know, we only have the letters, really. We had one from G Gandy, but mainly from Gampy, because Gandy kept them all. And it was the same thing with my other grandparents, you know. He, he kept all, I mean, he, I guess, lo lost the letters. Um, Harold, my grandpa, did. And, but we had all, and, and more. You know, he didn't bring them back, I guess. But we have all of his letters that she saved, and both of them saved them and read over them all the time, I'm sure. And they were very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> they were. And we, um, we started, I guess, last summer or the summer before we started, um, when we would go visit our grandparents in Maine, we would make them answer questions that we didn't know about them. Um, and we found out, this is so cute, that my grandmother